Okay, good afternoon. My name is Ana Fernández Papillon, and I'm lecturing at Complutense University of Madrid. Uh, and I am also coordinating a working group in INR, which is which stands for um, Spanish. Uh, Spanish, I don't association. It's association, Spanish Association for Standardization. Um, we are uh, trying to develop um, a project for measuring the quality of digital educational materials. Uh, we just beginning because the working group uh, was constituted uh, in May 2013, so a few times. The working group belong to the subcommittee 36, which is, which is responsible for e learning standards, and in turn, it belongs to the committee 71, uh, responsible for uh, IT, eh? for information technology. Um, our mission is to develop uh, a model based on didactic and technological criteria in order to measure, as I said, the quality of the EMS, digital educational materials. Um, in order to support the creation, use, and certification of good quality TEM. The question is why is it uh, necessary to develop a new project? And uh, the answer comes from the, what, what I say, normal teacher, a teacher which is not necessarily an IT specialist. And I asked one of my colleagues um, to uh, record um, what he thinks about, or what, how he feels about the insertion of technology, especially in learning in teaching. He is a colleague of mine, he's a specialist in phonetic, and he's good using IT, but in spite of this, I would like you to listen um, to listen what he thinks, well, if, if it is possible. Suppose you're in university. Wait, wait, wait. Ah, uh, it's at maximum. Well, I don't know if it is what you're saying. No. Is it that? Yes. Okay. We, we, we will try. If not, I have a, a, the slide with the text. In the current Impossible. Okay. Impossible. Okay. How? Here. Yes. But it's. Okay. Okay. No. More. 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 In the current teaching context, class notes and textbooks are not the only necessary materials anymore. On the contrary, audiovisual media, even just a simple slide, uh, slow, a slideshow, are the rigor. The increasing employment of e-learning platforms require that professors convert all their precious yet analogical resources to a digital format. Furthermore, they need to enlarge their collection with new materials in as much as those virtual platforms are intended to provide extra learning resource beyond the classroom. However, those materials are not usually readily really, uh, really available around and professors have to become the own material designer despite their limited knowledge of the e-learning possibilities and the required technology with uh, none or little help. And um, that's the problem. And the problem and there are two, two main problems. Firstly, uh, a lack of good quality TEMs, unless in Spain, and um, the lack of or little knowledge about what good quality means, how to create good quality digital educational materials, and finally, of course, how to certify, certify the quality of the digital educational materials. So uh, we uh, began the project um, with uh, uh, people who were quite involved in uh, creation, um, certification, and delivery of digital education materials. This is, these are the main stakeholders, the authors uh, who need the standard uh, 
as a guide for uh, creating good uh, digital learning materials, uh, the consumers and users to whom uh, the standard will provide uh, also orientation how to select the best materials, uh, reviewers, evaluators, um, in order to validate precisely the quality of the materials and hence to recognize the uh, value of the work of the authors, mainly teacher. So uh, the didactic production of the teachers. And finally, the suppliers uh, who need to guarantee the clients that the products are good products and quality products. So uh, the working group is uh, a, a, a representation for all these stakeho uh, stakeholders. The main objectives, firstly, identify the necessities. Uh, secondly, define the quality term terminology. What is quality? What means quality in the digital education, referring to digital, digital educational materials. Uh, of course, to develop a quality model. Um, based on uh, measure, uh, criteria, criteria that we could score uh, precisely. Thirdly, digo, fourthly, formalize this quality model in order to um, uh, support the construction, the building of a software tool to, uh, to help the uh, assessment and the creation of digital educational materials. And um, the next objective is um, one of the most difficult ones and is related to evaluate the quality model, so a meta-evaluation, evaluate if the quality digital, uh, if the quality model is effective, which means if we use it, if the author uses it, the materials that they get are better than if they don't use it. Uh, and in general, if the model is, uh, if the model and the standard that comprise the model uh, um, is used, uh, we can increase the quality of these uh, materials. Secondly, um, to evaluate the usability of the model, it must or it should be uh, easy to use, especially for the academic uh, world, for the teachers. Um, the uh, the re re reliability of the model, which means that uh, if several reviewers are scoring, are assess assessing uh, uh, the same material, they get uh, identical scores or unless very similar. And um, the last uh, requirement of the model is that uh, it must be a consensus, which means um, uh, it must um, the criteria that uh, the criteria has to be recognized as a common criteria in all the models that have been developed uh, in the previous work. The last uh, objective is uh, to write a standard, of course, which is complicated also. Uh, this is, these are the key attributes. Firstly, uh, the model uh, should be based on quality assessment criteria. Secondly, uh, it is necessary that the criteria have been reached by agreement. Uh, as I said, with proven usability, efficiency, and reliability. And finally, the standard will work as a tool for two things. Measure the potential effective, effectiveness of the DEMs. It means before the digital educational materials will be used, because it must be complete with the assessment of the users, of course. Eh? But um, so is that why we say potential? And secondly, the standard will work as a tool to guide authors, to guide evaluators, and to guide users in the treatment of digital educational materials. Um, uh, to uh, build or to develop the model, is it compulsory to review all the state of the art in order to get a model uh, shared by the majority of national and international models? In fact, the first version, which is um, the version for the quality in academic world, uh, comprises 
uh, all the criteria commonly uh, shared for, uh, for all the models, but especially for the models that were successfully applied, especially LORI, mm, the LORI model. Uh, on the other hand, uh, it has take, taken into account the related to standards, uh, in metadata, or, uh, content organization, accessibility, virtual training, quality framework, and finally the recommendation of the w, W3 uh, consortium and IMS con uh, global consortium. Um, going, into the, the, going into the model, the quality model, which is the, ba ba uh, the basis of the standard, uh, the first thing I would like to highlight is the definition of quality. Quality of the digital. Uh, when a digital educational mater um, material is good quality, uh, basically when they are effective, didactic and technologically. Uh, be effective didactically means that the digital educational material helps or facilitate teachers and students the process of learning and hence uh, uh, they can get better results, better academic results. The, uh, uh, by technological effectiveness uh, means that the digital education material is a good uh, software product uh, as you must see. Uh, a model is the set of criteria uh, that conforms that conforms the didactic uh, or technological effectiveness. And finally, quality assessment is the process to use the quality model to score the to assess the quality of a digital education material. And going to the architecture to the uh, model, it is um, it has two parts. The first part is for human use, uh, users, and the second part is for computational model. The second part is the formalization of the first part. Um, it will provide the possibility to, to uh, um, build tools, assistant tool for reviewers and for authors. Both parts have an identical uh, structure. They are a um, they are made up of three uh, set of criteria, one per uh, sector involved in, in or that has interest in the standard, the academic sector, the um, administrative sector, and the business or a uh, company sector. Uh, why three uh, set of criteria? Because uh, um, all these stakeholders have different necessities. And maybe, and probably, the uh, set of criteria from business level are much more detailed um, than the academic level. Or maybe the academic level has to stress, want to stress the, the, the uh, didactic criteria, or has to stress the didactic criteria, and the business level had to stress the technological criteria. We don't know because the only uh, set of criteria that we have developed is the academic level, but uh, we are working on, on it. Um, uh, together with the set of criteria, we need uh, levels of compliance. In, in the academic model, we have five levels. Uh, from one, which is uh, poor quality to five excellent, and also uh, the possibility of not apl apl applicable, and a fail for comments. Uh, the rest of uh, levels are not developed. Um, and in order to help the user to use the quality model, um, it is planned to develop a rubric and a set of examples. The rubric is done in the academic level, and both the model and the rubric, which is easy to, to use, are freely av available, and it's in the reference section of the paper. Uh, this is a, just a quick view of the uh, criteria of the uh, academic uh, DM quality model. Uh, um, as you can see, the first five criteria are referring to the didactic um, aspects, and the rest five are uh, de de dedicated to the technological aspect. So it's uh, well balanced between the two 
the two aspects. Uh, all the criteria uh, uh, are, uh, is, um, subtip, uh, is made up of um, a lot of sub-criteria in order to define precisely what means uh, content quality, reflection, critique, and innovation, uh, and so on. Uh, that's a, a real uh, self-evaluation. Um, that's why it's in Spanish. And um, for instance, in first, the four first criteria, it gets a four. And this is the observation field uh, in order to help the uh, to help the to give some feedback to the authors to help improve. That's uh, the um, view of, of the rubric. Uh, is it possible to use it without two minutes? <laughs> but we try to arrange. Uh, arrange all the rubric in one in one in one page. Um, uh, the methodology that we are, we are using to develop the standard is basically empirical and incremental. As I said, uh, it is based on previous work uh, and previous work who works successfully. And it is incremental because um, we, uh, we are beginning with a model, a set of criteria, the academic model, and we will incrementally uh, complete it. Um, uh, we will uh, follow five phases uh, or steps, specification, construction, evaluation, writing, and processing uh, the standard. We just we just finished the specification step, and we are uh, now involved in the construction uh, phase. We are working in four groups: the one per sector, but plus one, uh, which is um, uh, working in the accessibility um, for all the rest, uh, for all the rest uh, criteria, or revising the accessibility for the rest of criteria. Uh, we also um, built a repository with digital educational material in order to work empirically. Mm -hmm. uh, there are materials from the uh, company sector, administrative sector, and academic sector. Um, Finally, that's a, a summary of the expected benefits. Mainly, uh, what of course is uh, trying to solve the problems of support the creation of quality DMs to promote uh, the establishment of repositories of the um, repositories to facilitate the curricular as assessment of teachers' DEM production uh, to. Uh, provide the, mm, mm, a guide for reviewers in order to uh, quality certification of the digital educational material developed in educational institutions, administration, or companies, and finally to facilitate the automatic or semi-automatic assessment of digital education materials and the computer-assisted creation of quality uh, educational materials. That's all, thanks to the foundation of the ministry. Um, I would like, I am very grateful um, uh, or, or with my colleagues of La Facultad de Filología uh, at the Complutense University who participate in the evaluation of the academic quality model. It was a group of 36 um, teachers. Uh, and uh, I'm very grateful also with the working group uh, 12 of INR who are working enthusiastically and as you know for free. Uh, finally, to my colleagues Elena Dominguez and Isabel de Arma to whom, um, uh, with whom I developed the uh, first uh, uh, model, the academic model during these last three years. And that's all. Any, well, I would like to invite uh, any of us if you want to uh, join to the working group because <laughs> there is a lot of work. <laughs> a few, <laughs> a few hands. And um, any suggestion uh, that you have uh, is essential for us. So uh, uh, is welcome. Because it, um, one of the main activities of the working group is to um, 
the, the, the recursion of the word in order to get the maximum feedback to, to get a, a real usable standard.